All right, uh, that was I'll be sure if I'm not your lover. So two Wayne County Republicans responsible for tallying the votes uh, were almost on the verge of refusing to certify the votes of hundreds of thousands of black people until they were called out. No, no, there was no reason to have done it other than they didn't like the result. For some reason, for some people, uh, black people or brown people voting count a little bit, bit less than other people. This is an attack on democracy. It's an attack on the democratic process. People got up, stood in lines, and made their vo vo votes be heard, and they sought to mitigate them. They sought to give the president an unfair win just because they could, and just because those people were people they believe less than. If you look at one of the, I, I don't know if it's Monica Palmer or William Harbin, uh, if you look at their, their Twitter, uh, their, their Facebook posts, they post a lot of racist stuff. They say a lot of things. How are people like this in charge of the futures of people? How are the people like this, how do they get to weigh in? Well, the thing I say, and I believe this to be true, I don't think white people should get, should get to serve on a secret anything. I don't think they should have curtains. I don't think they should have blinds. I don't think they should be covered in any way because what happens in secrecy is stuff like this. The only reason that th they didn't go ahead with their nefarious plot is because they were called out. And then public pressure brought to bear, and they had to do the right thing. Lindsey Graham sought to do exactly the same thing in, in, in Georgia. He sought to do exactly the same thing. Because they believe some kind of way that they are not, that, that our votes are not worthy of them. That they, that they count more. These two people, Monica Palmer and William Harden, I, Harbin, I don't even know why they have jobs. I don't even know why they're allowed to be in a position. If you saw their Facebook posts, why are they anywhere in the public sphere? Why are they anywhere in this public sphere at all where they get to impact people's lives? So Monica Palmer and William Hartman of the Wayne County, of Wayne County decided that they would take the will of the people and thwart it. That they would, they, they would t put their fingers on the scale and decide, we, we don't know for ourselves that, that they're going to make a judgment for us. And they were going to disenfranchise hundreds of thousands of hardworking, taxpaying Americans because they wanted to. I believe that voter fraud is a crime. I believe that voter fraud should be punished. I believe that people who try to rig the system should be punished. And I believe that Monica Potter, uh, Palmer and William Hartman tried to do exactly that. I think that also Lindsey Graham tried to do exactly that. So while you're looking for all this voter fraud, look in your coffers and you will see three people who you could probably charge with voter fraud or rigging the system. And if not, they should be able to. You decided that those black people's votes weren't worthy and you decided to do something about it and you tried to tip the scale. And if it weren't for people watching out for you and bringing public pressure to bear, you'd have done it and you'd have done it just because you could. You've decided that we're not worthy of what it is that you think we should have. We, every person in this country that can legally vote should be able to, and you were supposed to count the legal votes. That's the argument. It's the legal votes. You decided that they were illegal, cause just because of uh, where they live and who they are and what color they are. You decided that. And yes, voter fraud is a problem, but it all seems to be coming from one place. Why is it the people that are so concerned about voter fraud do, it, it, engage in such criminal behavior? So Monica Palmer and William Hartman, I don't know what the law is there, but somebody should see you about it. You sought to, to thwart the will of 300,000 people. And that, to me, is the definition of voter fraud and rigging the vote. That's a little note from the GED section. we got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hugo Show.